you were doing a Bible course in London, and I love this story. You were getting to the end of this Bible course at Cornhill, yeah. um, and didn't know what you were going to do, and there was definitely a divine yeah. orchestrated call for you to go to Burundi. But tell us what happened. Yeah, so, I mean, I had, a, I suppose, a number of potential avenues to pursue. I thought maybe the Lord had called me to Cambodia, so I went and investigated that call. I mean, it was very gospel needy, 0.1% at the time, uh, uh, evangelical Christians out there. So I was like, anyway, it, I'd been praying throughout that year. I'd, I'd had a business job. I was on a conveyor belt of success. I'd had time out this, on this course, and I was like, God, I don't want security. I said, I don't want security because security is a mixed blessing because when we've got security, we, we don't sort of need God. So if I don't want security, I, I've got a girlfriend, I've got no strings, I'll do anything, I'll go anywhere. So this is the prayer I'm always trying to get people to pray. And it's a dangerous prayer on one level, but um, it's the best prayer to pray, it's full surrender. So I'll do anything, I'll go anywhere, I don't want security. And this guy tracked me down. It was the second last day of the course, and everyone else, I think, pretty much had their security, their job lined up for, the, for Monday. And uh, I, I was like, come on, Lord, answer me. And this, this guy, this, this, I received a scribbled piece of paper with a name and number, ring this guy, he wants to meet with you. So I rang the, the number, we arranged to meet on the last day of the course. And this guy, we met up in Bishopsgate in the city. I'd never met this bloke before. He starts speaking. You might even know him, you probably do. He goes, my name's Robert DeBerry. <laughs> I've been praying. I believe God sent me to you. He wants you to Burundi, be involved in youth, mission bands, and I'll thumping my chest. God, is this what you've kept me for? So I said to him, all right, thanks, weirdo. I'll think about it. I'll be spiritual. I'll pray about it. I went back to my job. Actually, my job, they kept it open for me temporarily. I knew I wasn't going back long term, but they said, you can come back whenever you want. We, we like you. And so I was, I was back there. I was like, okay, God, right now, if that wasn't some nut job, if that was you, then that if I go to Burundi, it means it was actually the most dangerous country in the world at the time. So it means leaving family, friends, security, money, career, everything, going to a place where I might get killed and people in the meantime did try to kill me. So give me a radical sign right now in front of the computer if, if you want me to go. And I didn't wait long, took a phone call. And the voice on the other end, out of the blue, said, do you know anyone who wants to work in Burundi? I was like, what? So, so that was it. I mean, what do you do with that? I tell that story well, so often. I say, either I'm lying, but you wouldn't live for a lie for the last 23 years. Of course. Uh, or that was a coincidence, but we know that no, wasn't a coincidence. It was that not. That was a God incident. The eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. And that was the start of the, that's 2, two Chronicles 16, verse 9. And he's like, who's up for it? Simon Gilbert, he's fickle, he's got his issues, but... He wants to make his life count. Thank you, Lord. And it's been an unbelievable adventure.